Hi everyone, it's Megan with AboveRubyStudio.com. Thank you so much for joining me for another Tuesday tutorial. I am actually out on location scrapbooking in Florida with my BFF Daphne. And we are having a great time. And I am going to scrapbook some of the Black Friday shopping madness. So I'm going to use some of the foil tinsel thickers from American Crafts. These are black and they're gorgeous. They came in the Club Ruby October kit. I'm going to be using some of those. I have my cuddle bug out and this is from the... Asian bundle. This is the cherry blossom. So we're going to use that. We're also going to use some of this really fun coordination strips. Um, this is really, really awesome. It comes in 12 inch by one and three quarter inch strips. And there's 80 sheets and all these different colors and you can do a lot of things with them. So we're going to do the cuddle bug with that. We're going to use a white gel pen, some glue glider, and just have fun. This is going to be our base page. It's going to be the base. These are the color strips that we're using that are match perfectly and then this gorgeous I absolutely love this paper this was something in Daphne's stash and it just has a really beautiful iridescent shimmer to it and I thought it went really well with not only the background of this paper with a little pattern back there but also the cherry blossom so we're gonna go ahead and get started and we'll just go ahead and start with our oh I also have white cardstock here and of course a white gel pen we'll start by cuddle bugging and de-stressing our coordinations You'll have to excuse the angle in which I'm working today. This is a little different for me. But we're making it work. We are going to stick our 12 inch strips right inside of our cuddle bug folder where we want it to be. And we're just going to make this work both ways. We'll stick it between our B plate, B plate, and A plate. And then we're just going to crank it through. And we're going to turn it around the other way, line it up at the end. And I'm not too concerned about where the pattern falls or anything like that because this is just going to be an extra background piece for our title. This is how our title is going to go on the page. So we'll crank it, crank it through the other way. Now you're going to see it flattens out a little bit there in the center of the strip, only slightly. It's not terribly noticeable, and like I said, I'm not too worried about it because we're going to distress it up a little bit, make that coordination pop through, and use it as our title block. And now we are going to figure out kind of where we want these strips to be. And I know I kind of want it coming across here and coming across from up here. And I think we're gonna tear the edges. You can see the beautiful coordination come through. And we will just rip this edge to match the other one. And before we tear it down, I'm gonna grab the Tim Holtz sanding block. And I'm just going to run that right over top of the embossed image. And with coordinations, this is like the easiest thing in the world to do. You see the color pop. It matches brilliantly with our base page. How easy is that? Brilliant. Now we're just going to trim our size down. All right, I'm gonna use our glue glider, put down our adhesive. Not all the way at the top, just down from the top. Now I'm going to cut this beautiful pattern paper to be our photo matting. And we'll do that in a uh, standard four by six. So we're gonna do four and a half inches. I'm do four and a half by six and a half. And then this will be four and a half by five and a half. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut it in half again. Let's see. And these can be for two smaller photos of a store or something along those lines. So we'll use this as well. And then we're going to grab white cardstock and do a second framing. And we'll do 
four and one quarter by six and one quarter. Okay, so I have my photo mattings cut out and then we're also gonna use these two just to have a little extra embellishment, why not? And we'll just adhere the white down to our pattern. Adhere down where we want our photo to go, which will be up here. These are gonna go down here like this. Just like that. And then we're going to grab a piece of white. It's going to come out from the side and this is going to act for our journaling. So we're just going to really quick draw a little line. I'm using a white gel pen because it's what I have here. I'm just gonna draw a line where I want that to be cut. Instead of measuring, we'll eyeball. All right, now we're going to put down our title and it's just going to say Shopping Madness. And I'm not really adhering them all the way down because I don't know how far across these are gonna go. I'm just kind of setting them on. But I love these tinsley letters. They really pop out, especially on a pattern, cardstock or paper. Okay, now I'm just gonna press these down real good. Okay, now you can do a couple different things. You can take a white gel pen and kind of outline and trace around your letters, especially with chipboard thickers or something along those lines. Um, it really does make them pop and it gives it a little bit of like a shadowing kind of effect and feature. But with them already being on the coordinations and having some of that lighter color pattern come through, I'm just gonna let that be what it will be. So finally, we're going to add in some black glitter liner stitch lines right around the edge. I'm going to leave the white journaling go, just like I said. I'm not going to really do that. But I am going to just come in here, and with my Viva Decor Hematite Color Glitter Liner, I'm just going to do a little bit of bling right along the side. And it's going to give a little bit of a 3D look and a little bling and I can't resist doing my stitch lines right now because that's like my so thank you so much for watching this Tuesday tutorial and this basic layout for our Black Friday Madness shopping I hope that you enjoyed and I hope you enjoy the rest of this video with some of the fun things that we went out and purchased and I had fun doing with my Black Friday so thanks so much for following and watching Above Ruby Studio and I'll talk to you later bye bye Megan with Above Ruby Studio and it's Black Friday Madness time and I am very excited to uh, get some shopping done and I've already been in a couple stores. The lines are crazy. People are nuts. Look at all these cars It's like insanity here and I know that's like normal Black Friday everything But I just like to share my journey and share a little bit of life with you guys So I'm walking in over to the outlets now and uh, you can see this line here. This is just to get in This is one of the stores Yeah that's just one of the stores here at the outlets. So I'm getting my kids clothes, um, an extra 50% off at Children's Place. I got Yankee candles for $6 a jar, which I absolutely love. I wanna go get a sweatshirt in a Gap, and then I'm heading to Walmart to get Cricut Light cartridges and a whole bunch of other things that are on the list. So check in later, bye. Megan checking in again. I got my bag of Children's Place goodies. Walking around in all of the craziness in the outlets, I'm about to head to Gap to get a fleece sweatshirt for 10 bucks and uh, have fun with the madness. Talk to you later. We're at Walmart and I'm at the beautiful, beautiful Cricut Expression display. It's so pretty. I love this one. It's gorgeous. Would love to add it to my collection. And you can see all of the $20 cartridges that they have here. So fun. Hard to resist. Talk to you later. Again, and it is 7 12 a.m. and I'm just now finishing my Black Friday running around shopping. I'm exhausted, but it was fun. I got all but two things on my list. Um, well, really three things on my list. I ended up not getting any of the Cricut Light cartridges. They're cute. I just decided that I didn't really need to get those today. Um, even though they're really cute. So I might still head over to AC Moore or Michaels. We'll see. I haven't really decided yet. I'm pretty tired. <laughs> um, I did, however, um, miss out on getting my kids the Leapsters that I was going to get them. Walmart had them for 25 bucks, but I did get them the digital camera, the kids' digital VTech camera for 15, and I just got one of them. So I was happy about that at least. Bummed that I couldn't get them the Leapsters, but that's okay. I'll get them some year at some time, some way. And let's see what else did I get. Um, 
I got everything else, I think, on my list possible. So I got some good toys, and I got a gift for my husband, and some good clothes, cap, cap sweatshirts, good stuff. All right, I'm going home. I'm crashing. I'm leaving for Florida in a few hours. So it's going to be a good day. I'll talk to you guys later. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful Thanksgiving, and that you have a happy Black Friday.